my life spun out of control. I drank myself to the streets. I thought I would drink and use drugs till the day I died. At first, I would have to say it felt triumphant. It registered success in my brain that I could drink that much and still function. I knew I had a problem, you know, but I always justified it in my mind, you know, because I was still working, you know, I still had a girl, I still had a place, I was still functioning. I always compared myself to some kind of parasite that would move to a place and I would use up every resource I could get my hands on, which was usually people. My family, nobody wanted anything to do with me. I ended up along a creek, sleeping in a tent. It ended up like everything else, you know, and just tatters. I just destroyed it all. There was nothing, nothing to life. It was just existing. I felt like, um, I was dead, literally. Um, I was lifeless. I spent the last night in a doghouse, literally living in a doghouse. I knew something had to change. I went in there, I went to the front desk, and I said, I need, need some help. You know, the first week I remember is being pretty rough. You know, but I was beat down to the point where I just didn't care. I did whatever they told me. And uh, that's when they really start digging down deep, find out about yourself and who you are and what you've done and, you know, face your demons, pretty much. We've had doctors, we've had nurses, lawyers, the whole nine yards in our facility. It doesn't matter how they get here, it's how they are when they leave here. And that's what we care about the most. I was just so happy to be offered drugs and drinking. Life is wonderful now. I've gotten my life back. I know it takes what it takes for anybody to get to the point where they want to ask for help. But I mean, when they get to that point, you know, there's, there is a place to go. And it does work. And the other side is a happy place to be.